the fourth. fourth. So, 62 and? 65. So I take 62 plus 65 divided by 2. That's going to be 127 over 2. What do you get? 63.5. What is this? Is it 64? No, I think it's 63. Is it 64? No, 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 you guys are getting your wires crossed. You round up only if this value was a non-whole number. Remember, I even said that, leave this answer what? As it is, this is the answer, this is why I want to go over it. Okay, you guys okay with that? The value that represents the 10th percentile is 63.5. Okay, the next one. The next value. What's L again? L is going to be K over 100 times N. What is K for the second question? It's what? 25 over 100 times 30. L is going to be 30 over 4. No? Yeah. It's 1 fourth of 30, right? Isn't that 25 over 100? One four, what's 1 fourth of 30? 7.5. Nice. What do you do with that 7.5? Good. This is rounded up. It's approximately 8. You round up. Final answer, if I determine the eighth data score in the sorted list, what are you going to get? What is it? I see an 88. 88. OK, you guys OK with that? All right, here we go. What's the next one? P90, 90 over 100 times what? 30, L is 0.9 of 30, L is 27. Is that true? OK, what do you do now? The answer is what? What's the answer? What do you guys look for? The, the what? The 27th and the 28th score. 140, 145, good. One forty plus one forty five divided by two is two eighty five divided by two. What's that? One one what? One forty two point five. In other words, the value that represents the ninetieth percentile is one forty two point five. Value that represents the 85th percentile, L, is 85 over 100 times 30. So L is going to be, what's 0.85 of 30? 25.5. What do you do with that value? Round up. L is what? 26. Therefore, what's the 26 data value? 135. The value that represents the 85th percentile is 135. So anyone who has a score of 135 has 85% of everyone else behind them, 15% in front. OK? Yes? Ah, why is that? You guys know? At this point in the process, if it's a whole number, then you're going to do the find the midpoint between the third and the fourth. This is the third value in the sorted list. And this is the fourth value in the sorted list. OK? And that's because it's a whole number. When it's a non-whole number, 7.5, you round up. And then this is the easiest one.
because it's not mid midway. It's the eighth value in the sorted list now. So when you get a decimal answer that way, that's the easiest one to answer. If it's a whole number, then you have to do the midpoint thing. This is a process. So you go through this process over and over and over again. Do you guys do any other processes in your life? Yes. What do you do? What process are you good at? Huh? Putting on your makeup. That's a process. Typing? People don't type anymore, Ed. Do they? Okay, so what you guys are expected to do is to do all that, go through those, go through those questions, you know, work on that. You practice it over and over again. So when you show up here, it's game day. That's all it is, is game day. You practice the procedure, that's it. Okay? No? You know, you know Moshe can put his foot behind his head. Did you, were you born just able to do that? Would you just put your foot behind your head one day and go, look, mom, I got my foot there? Did you do that? You had to do what? You, how did you practice? You had to stretch, right? Stretch, 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 till pretty soon that foot is where? I, I don't know why. I keep, I keep you know, when you talk to students all day long, they look at you like, oh my God, this is, this is magic, or this is hard, or I can't, can't do this, and I'll never. It's like, yeah, you will, but you have to do what? You've got to practice it. So when you show up to class on the day of a test, you guys should be well-rested, eager, because you had all that what? Practice. You shouldn't be, you know, oh, I got a test, and I'm so stressed, oh my God. You say, I practice as much as I could. I, gave, I did that practice. And if you do that, that's the best you can do. Anybody like taking tests? Am I the only one? Huh? It was hard. The test was hard. Do you guys notice? Anybody even care about visiting the website? And then what? Finding, <gasps> do you guys notice? Do you guys even look at those worksheets I put up for you? Do you know how much time I spend doing it? So I'm sitting there myself. I'm thinking, I'm gonna, if I'm going to put this time to do it, oh, you guys have to do what? Your part. I'm, wa I'm willing to bet. Let's see. I want to see how many people actually go through and do it. Yeah. The worksheets have been up for, um, I think, at least a week. You, yeah, it's in the multimedia. Go to the multimedia, and then you're in the multimedia. You have like, like the lectures to choose from. And at this point where we're at, you have all the sheets. Part of what I'm going to do this weekend on this material we have here is answer questions from those sheets. You know, do multimedia. Yeah. Yes. Well, there's, yeah, there's three. There's a fourth one there, but the fourth one has to do with today. OK? All right. Let me give you a definition. Definition of quartiles. You guys know what quartiles are? Yeah. 